Hi all, welcome to my hobby room, welcome to John's Mall Making. Today we have the Shelby Cobra Pack 10. Now this is great, this is only two more packs after this pack. There's not a fantastic a lot to do in this, but uh, we continue with uh, the latch on the door. We've got the windshield, um, radiators, lots of detail basically. We've got the fan assembly and we have a frame here to do. So, I'm really looking forward to doing this. I can't believe we're still doing the detail. We've not even had the uh, the shell of the body yet, which uh, I have seen and it looks absolutely fantastic. Like this car is going to be so beautiful when it's finished, it's going to be unreal. But anyway, besides all that, let's get on with the build. Okay, stage 74, we have the door hinge and lock mechanism. And with this, we'll need the door. Let's get the parts out of the bag. Here we have got a tiny, very, very tiny spring here. That's um let's get rid of the rubbish. So first of all we need this latch, this spring which goes just on here. Just the same as the other door. We don't want to do it. There we go. That is that in. Look at that, how small that is. There we go. That's the first thing we need to do. The second thing we need this part, and we need to put that. Let's see, that spring goes over there, fits there like that, and that goes over there, like so. I'd better have a red cam that one. There we go. Just in place. Oops, it's far without me. Easily done. Okay, so now it basically just sits there like so. In between them two. There we go. And what we need to do is secure it in place with an OP15 screw. Which is this one there we go it's a little bit too tight I think there we go yep well, it's just a little bit too tight, but there we go. It's moving nice. Excellent stuff. Now what we need to do is put it on the door. And here we have the door. So I need a bit of a towel for this. And basically this will go there. There's two holes two location points and match up with this latch pop it in place should just be push in there we go there we go there we go snap in place excellent brilliant now what we need is the hinge let me just fill it with a little bit more and I need to put that in place there screw the stick into me let's move a sticky there we need for this two OP or two screws So 
first. And the second. And then we have a cover. A hinge cover. Two location pegs on there. And basically pop the like so and snap in place. And that is stage 74 complete. There you go. So we've got a latch and the hinge. Excellent stuff. Okay, stage 74 can Okay, stage 75 is basically just the windshield. We don't do anything with this. Let's take it out of the bag. Oh, let's have a quick look. There you go, that's the windshield frame actually. That is metal. See the hinges on the sides here and up here the sun visor hinges and three screw points that is that <laughs> the windshield frame so what we need to do now is stage 76 and here we have stage 76 which is a left wind deflector and left sun visor Right. Now basically what we need to do is attach the left wind deflector to the windshield, gently prise apart the fixings on the wind deflector, check you have the wind deflector in the correct orientation before aligning the fixings with the projections on the windshield. The fixings have tiny holes on either side that fit over tiny lugs on the windshield. Squeeze the holes over the logs using long nose pliers. Okay, per long nose pliers. There's my long nose pliers. So we'll look at the parts. These look really delicate. There we go, that's the parts out. And we can see we have to prise these apart to fit them on the side and on here so the lugs on either side of these and this now looking at this this will go here and here so if I prise these apart <laughs> I know it says use tweezers but um, let's see there that's better I just sorry so we just push my tweezers in between the gap it will widen them like so and then Well, apparently I've got that in the wrong place. So let's take that off. Not easy these. We have got the other side to do as well. Oh, there we go seems a little bit loose but that is that stage complete looking pretty good though and in stage 77 we've got the exact same thing to do the sun visor and the wind deflector now let's see if I can get these out 
shot these in. There we go. That's that one out. That's that one out. Okay, so same format as before. Basically, open up. That one in place. So there we go. That was a little bit stiffer than that one. Let's tighten this one up a little bit more. There we go, that's a little bit better. Brilliant! There we go. Sun visors and wind deflectors in place. That's issue 77 complete now. Lovely job, boy. Stage 78 is the windshield. There we go. Stage 78. Let's get the windshield out. Not bothered about fingerprints at this moment in time. There we go. There she is. No. Align the windshield with the windshield frame. Note that there are notches along the top edge of the windshield that fit around the sun visors. There are also two tiny lugs at the bottom of the windshield frame, which correspond to holes on the windshield to determine the correct fit. Press the edges of the windshield firmly into the frame to fit. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we need them out of the way. I think we'll get the towel back for this little bit. Let's move this in a bit. There we go, you can see the notches there. Four along here, the sun visors and one there, one there, which fits into these holes here. So that fits there, there, and there. And that seems to be it. It does look really nice. There we go. That's the uh, the glass in place. So the windshield and the windshield frame, deflectors, sun visors. That is stage seventy eight complete. Excellent stuff. I've got to store that somewhere. I'll just pop that up there out of the way. What we need now, stage seventy nine which is radiator front and grill oil cooler with front and rear grill. Let's get the parts out. Do, do, do. These all look like they're gonna be a push fit. These are metal grills. I'll separate it from that. So we've got the radiator front, the grill, the oil cooler, oil cooler rear parts, oil cooler grill type OP16 screws. Ah, here we go. We did have some screws after all. Excellent stuff. Okay, assemble the radiator. Align the radiator grill over the radiator front. The grill is the same on both sides, but has a top and bottom with notches and holes. Rest in position and then fix using two OP16 screws. Right, so that's that. 
that goes there like so and basically the screws go here and here this is a tiny one tiny tiny screw Excellent stuff. Now what we need assemble the cool oil cooler. So we need this part and this part and basically it goes in here like so. And then what we need is to get this part and the grill and bend all these straighten all these up it shows you how to do this with the tweezer but it's easily done with your fingers and there we go get that in place like that holding the old cooler and rear part assembly together position the grill on the opposite side the six tabs push into the six corresponding holes push gently but firmly into position before flattening the six tabs on the reverse side okay so basically we've got that grill on that side we need to put this through here position them there like so push it all the way through like that go and get in place and then press them down <laughs> there we go like that excellent stuff that is stage 79 complete wow so stage 80 more parts for the radiator this is basically where we make up the radiator there's another grill there's more screws basically we align this one up with this one there's a cut out there and there so we're can position them like so excellent stuff there are two posts inside there we go we have a hole on the top place that down like so and we need to fix this in place with two OP08 screws the case I'll put the grill over the top and fit in place the two OP 16 screws got a lot of parts to put in this car um because i'm not sure these actually 
go in the car this time around with this pack not seeing anything in the instructions to say so so I think pack 11 whatever comes there we go we're gonna have a lot of parts to put together there we go that's the front and back of the grill and then we've got the oil cooler grill I think that one is called that is stage 80 complete right stage 81 oil cooler mounting fans and mortars so let's put them out to the way here we have stage 81 get these out of the bag that is doo -doo -doo. okay radiator fan one radiator fan two fan motor one fan motor two oil cooler mounting which that is excellent stuff so basically fix the oil cooler to the mounting there we go so that's the oil cooler doo -doo -doo. let's see get this position right Um, yeah, that was in there, like so. Excellent stuff. That is basically stage eighty-one complete. We are rapidly getting through all these. Stage eighty-two is radiator mounting frame and screws to type OP10 so let's get them out of the bag there we go there we go there we go this is plastic uh, basically what we need is these two parts from the previous now these are keyhole shapes so that will go in there like that yep and then we need one of these fans and get this the right way around which will go on there like so and we need to fix that in place with an old p10 screw and that's going to fall off there we go that's two fans in place excellent stuff now what we need to do is attach the old cooler and mounting take the old cooler assembly from stage 81 and align the tabs on either end with the corresponding slots in the radiator mounting frame push firmly into place so basically it goes there like so and looking at that it goes like that yep so there's one hole there one hole there see the two tabs and basically position it there and there like so And that is that part complete stage 82 complete and that is it ladies and gentlemen all parts fitted another fantastic lot to do today there's a radiator which I would imagine will go on here not a fantastic lot to do like I said uh, the latch 
the hinge, a beautiful door, and here we have the frame with the sun visors. Let's make sure that gets protected. There we go. That unfortunately is it. Boo hoo. Well, not a fantastic lot to do. Um, quite a bit of making up to on that radio, so I'm trying to guess where it goes on here. Um, it probably goes there like, anyway. Um, all looks nice. It's all plastic except for the window frame. The windshield, rather, the window frame. The windshield frame. And the uh, windshield. Looks, uh, does look good. Mm -hmm. uh, the door looks absolutely beautiful. Can't fault the paintwork on that. It's much better. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Yes, but unfortunately, not a fantastic lot today. Gotta to wait now for pack 11, which uh, will probably be another four week off. Anyway, if you did like that, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.